Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up? It's your host with the most entertaining people like you from coast to coast. Wayman Man Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, all I need you to do is go press that like button. Literally, it's the least you can do. I'm making this video to help you out, so just go press the like button to help me out. All it takes is one second, and if you don't do it, it just proves that you're selfish. But anyway, let's get this video started. So first of all, if you don't know what wolfing is, then that's okay because I'll be making a full video coming up soon on teaching you what wolfing is and how to wolf longer and all that good stuff. But in this video, we're just gonna be talking about my current wolf that I'm doing right now. Okay, so the first thing we gotta discuss is when was my last haircut? My last real haircut was somewhere around like October 8th or 9th. And currently it's like, honestly, I don't know what day it is. It's probably like March 15th or something like that. So let's count November, December, January, February, March. It's been more than five months since my last haircut. That is quite a while. I don't know how many weeks that is exactly. Actually, let me go search that up right now. Okay, so I just asked Siri and according to her, it's been 23 weeks since my last haircut. Now you might ask me, Mike, why are you wolfing so long? And honestly, there's really no answer for it. I've just been wolfing, honestly, just to be wolfing. Besides this raggedy, hairline and taper i mean my waves still look pretty decent when am i gonna cut my hair i'm not exactly sure probably sometime soon maybe within the next two to three weeks but i don't know yet like i said my waves are still pretty well maintained and like i said at the beginning of the video i will be making a video on how to maintain your wolf for longer so i really don't see that much of a need to rush and cut my wolf off especially when I got a lot of stuff going on right now, like school. So my last haircut was five months ago, which was 23 weeks ago. So you're probably wondering just how long my hair is. So I measured my hair the other day. Well, actually it was like two weeks ago, but we're gonna just say the other day. And when I measured it, it was at two, it was either two inches or two and a half inches. I can't remember. I'm just gonna say two and a half inches. So one thing I learned is that my hair definitely grows a little bit on the slow side because I see other people wolf for shorter amount of times, like eight weeks and their hair is way longer than what my hair was at at eight weeks and maybe even longer than what it's at right now. Well, probably not. Two inches really is pretty long for hair but I'm gonna comb it backwards so you guys can see what it looks like. And just for comparison purposes, I'm gonna keep some of it, well, most of it laid down and then keep, I mean, and then just comb back one little section. So that way you can see the difference between what it looks like when it's laid down versus what it looks like when it's combed up. All right, so I'm just gonna comb up this section right here. So. You see that? My hair is pretty long. Like you can, it's, I'm pretty sure it's long enough to like do like little twists now, or maybe I'm pretty sure you can even put it in cornrows at this length. Uh, but uh, basically I just keep it well maintained and I just, you know, honestly though, I'd be, I'd just be chilling. I don't even honestly be brushing that much. I don't even brush every day because I mean, eventually I'm gonna cut this off anyway. So these top hairs are just gonna be cut off anyway. It's the hairs that's on the bottom that really matter. So you don't really need to brush all that much. You can really comb and get down to those bottom layers of hair and you should be fine. One thing you definitely can notice though, now that I am wolfing and my hair is a lot darker, you can definitely see light spots for the spots of my hair that are a little bit uncontrollable, specifically, my hairline look at this this section of hair just will not lay down right so you just see my scalp underneath of it but when you lay the hair down then it lays down over top of it and it looks all right but i mean i'm probably gonna need to do another washer style to get this to layer back down because when i put my do-rag on it like sometimes it like pulls up and then it lays like that all night 
So then, you know what I mean, right? It's like it gets trained to stand up rather than lay down. And the same goes for like this pot right here behind my ears and behind my ears right here. But it's strange because it doesn't do that in the back of my head and it pulls up right there. But as soon as I comb that down, it lays right back down. Or well, maybe it does do it, I just can't see it because it's on the back of my head. But now I'm just gonna, oh wait, I forgot to mention this comb really comes in handy for when you're wolfing because these wide teeth can just glide through your hair. But what I was gonna say is I'm gonna go ahead and comb up the entire top of my head so you can see it all up at the same time. And let me move in front of the white part of my wall because I noticed when I was in front of this black thing, you really couldn't see how long my hair was for real. All right, let me lift my camera up so it's above my head. Now let's comb this back. As you can see, my hair is pretty long, but I feel like it's not all that long for 28 weeks or 23 weeks, however many weeks Siri said. I feel like it should be longer than this, but my hair does grow pretty slow. See that? And if I comb it back down, it just, goes back down and then I have another method to get it to lay all the way back down hold on let me take off my glasses first too I'm not gonna do the method right now because I'm gonna save that for the video on how I keep my wolf so maintained but you can see it's laying down and it'll eventually lay down Yeah, it's laying down nice enough and now you can really see what i was talking about with my um hold on let me <laughs> put this back down now you can really see what i was talking about with my hair not laying down on my hairline you see that it's still sticking up probably can't see it because the colors are blended in but like right here you can see like a light spot it's because all this hair is like folded up you can comb it, you can brush it. It doesn't really do much to lay it back down until I actually do a washing style. Or if I get like a taper, then it'll get rid of that weird transition too. But I don't really feel like doing tapers because it's a lot of work when you're wolfing to transition, you know, from really, really short to like all this hair on top. You know what I mean? So this is my wolf. I feel like it should be a lot thicker than this, but hey, I guess my hair just grows really slow. Tell me in the comment section below, how long are you wolfing? If you even are wolfing. Actually, comment if you are wolfing, and if you are, then how long are you wolfing? And if you're not wolfing, then say, have you ever wolfed? And if no, then why not? You got that? So yes or no, if you're wolfing or not, if you are wolfing, how long are you wolfing right now? If you're not wolfing, then have you ever wolfed? And if you have, what's the longest you've wolfed for? This is the longest that I've wolfed for, 23 weeks, pretty long. Before this, I probably only wolfed for like 12 weeks or maybe less than that. But it's possible to still get good waves without wolfing. But like I said, I'll make a video on what wolfing is, how to wolf, how to maintain your wolf, how to wolf longer all that so don't worry because i got you covered but anyway that is the end of this video if you did enjoy it please make sure to leave a like and if you didn't enjoy it still go leave a like also subscribe so you don't miss future videos all right if they ask you who i am i'm wave man mike so subscribe drop a comment and don't forget to like enjoy your day